Hello everyone, welcome back to I'm a Scorpio channel. This is Enigma and we are going to do your general reading for the month of July. July has begun and this is going to be for all of you Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Since this is general, so take what resonates and what doesn't resonate for more personals. Reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Also have pure crystals, intention charged and white prairie spells and intention jars. So... Check out more on my Instagram and upcoming stuff. June predictions are out. You can check it out. And July predictions are coming in a day. Okay. So follow my Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channels, which is Ayanigma, Ayanigma Scorpio, and Ayanigma Hindi. So I have done Ayanigma uh, on my uh, other channel, which is main channel, Ayanigma Scorpio Read. So don't miss out that. I'll provide you the link below. So like, share, subscribe, and comment to my channel, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, or Scorpio, in Scorpio, or cross watches, even Mercury in Scorpio can watch this. Let's see Scorpio what's coming up for you. I'm pretty excited to see what's happening for you in your life. Okay, Scorps. Ooh, main energy. You have your soulmate coming in, guys. Get ready, get prepared. Okay, I feel the time is coming close. Her dependency passion you might meet this person through some unknown or somehow you will figure out that you have mutual friends okay and because of finding that out that you guys do have mutual friends you can someone will say something good about this person which will authenticate your trust in them which will make you pursue them even more i feel there's going to be a codependency involved where this person is obsessing over you you are obsessing over this person and there's a deep intimate bond you started to feel towards each other that you both cannot ignore. I feel this is something that's that's happening real, real soon. The most solid foundation for this relationship is actually trust here. I feel like this person will offer you what you were looking for in other people in the past and you never got it. And that is trust. You guys will be more like friends, but the passion, the intimacy is going to be deep. Okay, it's very, very, very deep. Mm -hmm. That is an involvement of an older female, a mother here. I feel maybe she is the one that brings you guys together or, you know, kind of like ensure that this connection happens. I feel they're going to invite you to their place or they will come to your place and give you an unexpected surprise. I feel like this person will make it official and so their mom is going to honor you, okay, with a gift. So that is something that I'm sensing. It could be a mother, it could be an older female, any older, way older, like motherly figure is involved here, okay, in good terms, new person, okay. So what I'm seeing right now is that six of wand energy. This is the energy of knowing that anything that is best for you will come your way. Having faith in the universe process, in the manifestation, what you believe is going to come true for sure. So this is the feeling inside of you. I feel six of wands is like you're going to achieve a lot of victories in your life in the, re in, in the near future. I'm seeing you will be in limelight, Scorpio. I'm seeing you wearing a lot of like sea green or blue, okay? Which means that your communication skills are getting better with time. Someone is 67, 62, 27, 20, 37, okay? That's an energy that I'm getting here. Six number is talking about you being more mature towards your dreams, your goals and ambition. You will be in limelight. That means that whatever you want in your career, you will get in that too with interest. So there's success, there's abundance here. Nine of ones, there's a sense of caution. There's a sense of being guarded. You don't know where this is going. You're like, oh my gosh, first I need to get a terror reading and then only I'll go forward. Okay, you have this feeling like you don't know should I trust or should I not trust because people are getting involved between you and them. Or there's a decision that someone has left over you or will leave over you to make. Okay, and you're not able to make a decision. Maybe you are involving your mom and you're trying to take a suggestion from them. Like what should you do if you're young? Okay, but I'm seeing like here the decision is kind of tough for you. Okay. I'm also I've sensed it in the shots today that you may have two options coming in. So go slowly, but don't reject. 
the ones that you feel like there could be something okay see the libra coming in there you go hierophant i'm seeing this is going towards more traditional i feel like this person wants to marry you with all the traditions and cultures mm -hmm. uh, cultural uh, rules followed okay they want this to be a lifetime memory okay they want to build a memory with you with this a grand wedding with this marriage that you guys remember for lifetime so this person is quite serious for this i feel like your person is someone that likes to carry their family history forward that likes to also they respect elders they have a lot of respect for their family members of you okay so let's see this is going to be the happiest moment of your life scorpio because things have started to roll in your life pretty fast i feel like there is no time to even breathe because things are going to come for you one after the other so you won't be wasting your time in sitting and thinking you won't even even you won't even get the time to sit and think i feel it is going to be so fast so they're rushing towards you with communication here and you have nowhere to go and this communication will immediately um materialize into marriage very strong and energy of marriage here now those who don't believe in this part may not be your reading but i feel this is happening very strongly guys this is happening like literally how do i say it to you it's like you guys you don't have control over this happening to you it's like while you're just sitting and making a decision this has already happened you're like what i wanted to take some time but this just happened okay this might be a specific read guys not everyone might resonate with this so take it easy and go slow and just keep claiming this good energy towards you you may not always understand so sometimes human brain is too small for us for such a big universe and its energy to manifest for you so sometimes we just need to leave it to the universe and god and not try to find out answers like how why when it will happen okay just the only thing we can do is have faith somehow it will happen okay so certain things happen to take you towards who you are going to be or what you are meant to be and to towards your life purpose towards the things that can bless you with happiness and lot of luxuries and abundance in your life okay luxuries and abundance i mean happiness happiness and happiness prosperity seven of swords and three of swords you guys have this tendency i feel this might be this particular message that i'm giving you could not resonate with each one of you because all of you've come out of this but some of you really need to hear this that you guys have a part there's a part of you that is running away from this because you're scared of being heartbroken in the end you are thinking about the future you're not investing in the present if you don't invest in the present and start running away thinking about the future will bring you heartbreak then you will never be able to manifest what you're meant to manifest so someone needs to hear this okay so seven of swords and three of swords is like stop running away from heartbreaks if it has to happen it will happen if it doesn't then no you don't have to worry about it you already missed the chance okay so be careful i feel this is someone that is living in the present moment because it's struck uh, they start struck on you they just cannot think of anybody else but you their feelings are just blossoming like they're coming out of their heart and it's like uh they are having overwhelming feelings they just want to fly and come towards you it's like there's such an energy of wanting to commit so fast like they won't give you time to breathe even so i feel like they might um uh, bombard you with the messages of your messages of your messages making you feel extremely special so this is the most uh, special connection that you can think of this could be a pisces some of you scorpio cancer for some okay this is someone that likes to keep their dress sense very casual they're not too much about trend they're not too much about show off but this person is naturally very attractive and impressive that's the energy that i'm getting nine of cups this person has had a lot of options initially i feel maybe they met you 6 days back or they will meet you whatever happens like initially they might be confused you will be confused they're like okay fine hi hello and then they will be like doing their own thing you will be doing your own thing but then they will be like no this is the one for me they'll come back so it's like you guys meet okay for some work related situation or just generally 
okay and this person does have other options so they're like okay whatever and then after like few days they're coming back and telling you oh you're the one i don't want to lose you so that's how they make the, make up their mind i feel they become so sure about you so wait give it some time let it breathe let there be space between you and them for energy to manifest okay for the positive energy to come and manifest it for you okay so this is someone that will realize that you're the one this is someone that is your soulmate that's a show i feel you're the dream come true you're the wish come true after going through a lot of options they become so confused that their brain stopped working <laughs> but when they see you when they meet you they will be confused but after some time of the space that you're giving this person they're realizing that there's something that keeps on attracting them towards you there's an energy tie between you guys and that energy tie is a soulmate tie so this bond i feel you've left a major mark on this person this person is someone that stays very busy is a big workaholic and you are special because they're leaving everything and coming back around to you they know you're the one i feel like you are going to start to take it seriously after some time getting convinced that this is the one because they're assuring you that they're not looking for something like a relationship even or they're looking for a deep commitment having a kid or is like something that lasts long like marriage so ace of pentacles is like they want to build a solid foundation with you they know that you are the one that can suffice them overall physically mentally emotionally spiritually everything four of swords they've been thinking about this connection since the day met you i feel or they will meet you since the day they meet you they will start thinking about it they'll start spacing themselves from work and other things and start going into this energy of falling in love with you so this is going to make them feel very very cozy i feel they will not be able to think of anybody else they'll start rejecting other options they might start fighting with those people who oppose you and in the end of the day to fight this conflict in their mind that whether you're going to say yes or no they will come towards you so no matter what how much you resist this this person is going to come towards you I feel there's going to be a whole new chapter starting in your life where you might live in different place with this person. You might have kids depending upon what you want. And I'm seeing you guys may start like living somewhere else together. Okay. Or relocate or something. Both of you to a common place or you may stay with them. They will stay with you each like vice versa. But I feel like there's a whole new journey in your life for both of you starting because they were focused on work, you were focused on work. But when you came into their life, you both started focusing on um, enjoying life. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this uh, uh, marriage or this connection is going to fill your life with rainbow of colors. So it's just beautiful. I can't just say it in words. Sometimes it's just the energy that's felt. They've been right now thinking too much about you. They're wondering, oh my gosh, how hard it's going to be or not be. But they can definitely see you as a person of self-respect and dignity. So they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to hire this Scorpio to be my partner. All right, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This person is very logical and they don't take quick decisions. So this is someone very selective. They like to be in the mountains most of the time or they're very intelligent. So you can't mess with this person. So... If they're choosing you, that means they have, that means you're, there's something about you that's extremely special. They're very protective of you. Very, very, very protective of you. When this person comes into your life, you'll start seeing signs from the angels, a dragonfly or a lot of dragonflies around. This person is rushing towards you. I feel they don't want to lose you because they've been watching you from a long time. They will watch you from a long time and then is like decided you are the one. Codependency coming back. So what I'm seeing, the devil is like this person is obsessing over you. They're going to be obsessing like anything. Okay. Sometimes you might feel like, why are they too possessive? Yes, it is a possessive energy, but not that bad. But yes, this person has a good body, like figure or physique. This person really likes to keep themselves fit. And they're very attractive. Some of the people think that they are player. Uh, right now, you might be feeling left out in the cold. Or they have this tendency to make other person feel naturally that they're being left out in the cold but deep inside they don't intend to do that so there's a change coming in from being single to being in a relationship and then marriage in 2024 i'm seeing you guys being in a different state 
in your life marriage committed more friends more hanging out okay working together living together the moon energy guys i feel like there is an energy of third party interfering between you guys either it's this person's sibling or this person's best friend or this person's but i feel like the mother really wants this but other than the mother i feel there's someone else that is like kind of creating this um delusion in this person's mind that you're not a good person or something that someone is craving between them or the past is like interfering consistently in their life so the reason why this person will be like confused are these bunch of people interfering cancer energy capricorn energy is there gemini aquarius energy is also there yes they will realize that you are the one that they were looking for i feel until unless you don't give them space they'll never realize this feeling what else scorpio there you go yeah there's something about you and your taste in life towards things it's, it's just gonna make them like fall flat over you with <laughs> your feet <laughs> all right so let's see other messages okay i think we got this earlier as well yes this is transformative connection you guys are going to change this person on a, a spiritual level they need that change they're craving that change you can only you're the only one that can bring them that and they know this already they don't need to like kind of like hide it career change someone is thinking about a career switch i feel it's you okay you're looking for something that brings in the joy within it's not always about money but yes when you're doing something with joy it definitely brings money okay you might be facing challenges in your work some of you scorpios not all some of you have already done that career shift and are happy but someone really needs to know that you might need to uh, reconsider your career choices or you might be thinking of going for a higher study there may be challenges but these challenges are worth it okay scorpio's message for july I feel like you're bored of the same thing. That is why we have career shift. It's not always, uh, it doesn't always mean that you're going to change your career. I feel like it could be that you're bored of doing the same thing. Maybe you need to uplift or upgrade your knowledge and add some masala, spice and sugar into your work, which can help you beat those challenges that you're facing right now. Okay. Anything else we need to know from a Scorpio? Please don't. There you go. Be a sort of. When you stick to a decision, please don't change your mind. That's what the spirit guides are saying to you. What else? There you go. Your imagination is turning into reality. Switch that button on where you can dream during the day. And then work on things and see the reality happening. Things are happening in your favor, guys. So just have faith and go uh, softly. Any one message for Scorpio. I'm also going to see the signs coming in. We have the moon. I feel you're becoming more and more intuitive. And you guys might be thinking of trading online business. And some of you are old soul. And I feel like there is a spirit of ancestor, your ancestor, that is um, giving you a, a power of uh, being able to judge what is right or wrong. That means they are talking to you through your intuition, gut feeling. So they are the one that is putting you in this situation of following your dreams and goals and making them come true i see the signs coming in okay one more please all right so we have libra 
we have Virgo, we have Sag, we have Leo. These are the most probable signs. I'm arriving a Venus. So that is about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this read. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to claim this read and to stick around for more stuff. And I'll come back for more. And yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye.